the latest on Hulk Hogan's $100 million lawsuit against Gawker for posting his sex tape. One of the site's former editors was on the stand Monday, and ABC's Lindsay Janice is at the courthouse in St. Petersburg, Florida, with how it played. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, George. That's right. First up, the defense putting former editor-in-chief A.J. Delario on the stand and Hogan's lawyers hammering him on his reasons for posting that tape. A.J. Delario, the man behind Gawker's posting of that now infamous Hulk Hogan sex tape, taking the stand and taking some hits. Those are your words? Yes. Are you laughing there? Yep. Lawyers for the Hulk referring to Delario's taped deposition, in which she sarcastically answers the only celebrity sex tape he wouldn't consider newsworthy would be that involving a child. Your testimony under oath before this jury with that image up there is that you're laughing at that point in time? It's not out loud laughter, no, but it is a smirk, yeah. It's a smirk because you don't think the First Amendment's that serious, do you? It's very serious. At points, Delario even seeming to contradict part of Gawker's defense that the tape was newsworthy and their decision to publish it covered by the First Amendment. The fact that Mr. Bollea was taped having sex with his best friend's wife wasn't the noose hook for your piece, was it? Uh, no, not necessarily. And you put that out in the public because you believed it was true and it was interesting, right? Yes. And it didn't really matter whether or not it was a morbid and sensational prying into people's lives for its own sake. That didn't matter you did it. No. The man behind the tape, shock jock Bubba the Love Sponge Clem, planning to invoke another amendment, the fifth. I am, you know, smack dab in the middle of, and I'm tired of it. The judge ruling Clem, who mentioned the case on his radio show just days ago, doesn't have to testify in front of a jury, citing his lack of trustworthiness, but ordering him to come to court and face questions in front of her. Gawker calling his testimony critical. It's certainly important to know whether or not Hulk Hogan knew if he was being taped, and Bubba has changed his story many times in this case, um, testified to things under oath on his, on his radio show and elsewhere. Now, Hogan maintains he was recorded without his knowledge. Gawker founder Nick Denton also taking the stand Monday, explaining to the jury the kind of gossipy journalism that Gawker does. He's back up there today. Robin? All right, Lindsay, thank you.